kilometers so far. Okay, that's great. Now. Last April, I was interviewed by Ifi Chiwetelu from CBC Radio. It, she was, it was an interview all about my health program and reclaiming my life. It was, pretty, it was pretty fun. And at the end of the interview, this is a question that she asked me, and here is my answer. What's next? What's next for you? What's the next goal you're working towards? Huh. This summer, I'm going to go ahead and just say it, say it to you. This summer... I am going to ride my bike from Winnipeg to Portage La Prairie. That's 50 miles. I used to do a lot of bicycle touring. Um, so this is going to be a one day trip. I'm going to leave early in the morning and I'm going to do it. I know I can slowly. It's 50 miles, but you know what? I can ride one mile. So I ride one mile and then one more mile and do that 50 times and you've gone 50 miles. <laughs> right? So. Wow, you, you sounded even a little, like, nervous to say that out loud, that that's a goal. <laughs> Did you hear that? Ride my bike to, to Portage La Prairie. Are you kidding me right now? So a couple of months pass, and I'm sure you can relate to this, but after a couple of months, like around June, I said to myself, well, I'm doing great. I'm doing a lot of walking with my dog. I am riding my bike sometimes, but nobody's going to remember that I said I was riding my bike to Portage La Prairie, 50 miles. Are you kidding me right now? Nobody's going to remember, so forget it. Then... In July, guess what? I got an email from Ify. Ify said, hey, Leanne, just following up, when are you planning to do that bike ride to Portage La Prairie? We want to do a follow-up story. I'm like, oh, Lordy. Oh, boy. So that lit the fire under my butt. I, I like, I better get out there on that bike ride, bike. So I said, oh, I'm going to do it in September. Oh, yeah, I was planning to. I was never dropping that thing. They hadn't forgotten. So... I started practicing even more. So then, come September or middle of August, I wrote to Efi and said, guess what? The bike ride is scheduled for Saturday, September 1st. Guess what? Efi didn't come with. But Efi wasn't there. Why? Because she knows she can't ride her bike to Portage La Prairie. Ha! Ha! I... She chickened out. She's a chicken. But I went. I wasn't afraid. I was Actually, I was afraid. I was scared to death. But I did it because the fire had been lit under my butt ever since that follow-up email of, of July. So thank you for the follow-up email, Evie. And I'm sorry that you were too chicken to come along with. But I went with me. I went with my brother, Mike, who was visiting, who, by the way, brought his bicycle all the way from Seattle to go with me. So it was kind of hard to back out then. And I went with my friend, David, who loves to ride bikes. So here's that journey. Okay, well, it's a, a little bit after 7 in the morning. We're getting a little bit of a late start. 85 kilometers to go on our way to Portage La Prairie, August 30th, I think, or 31st. It's Saturday. All right, we'll see you, and we'll let you know how many kilometers to go as we're, as we're biking. Woo-hoo! This is my brother, Mike. This is Leanne. Okay. Woo! Feeling pretty good. We've gone 21 kilometers so far. So, what does that mean? 44 to go. We found this great service road on the side of Highway 1 between Headingley and the St. Francis Xavier turnoff. So we never had to go out on that highway. It's been like a private bike path the whole way. No cars over here. Awesome. Talk to you later. Okay, we made it. St. Francis Xavier. We haven't made it to Portage La Prairie. St. Francis Xavier was 25 clicks though. Oh, and by the way, we have 60 to go. I made a mistake last time when I said 40 something. Boy, was I ever optimistic. <laughs> Here we are on St. Francis Xavier Road. Up, oh, finally a car. First one in about 10 minutes. We've gone, what, about, uh, I, don't, I can't, now I've lost track. 30, no, 35. 35, 50 to go. Hey, bro. Yeah. 
So David is caught up with us, and uh, I am just exhausted. We've gone 50 clicks, 35 to go. David managed to catch up to us because he was going double our speed. Well done, David. <laughs> All right, now. So, this, this here is what's called a perfect rest spot. Let me show you how you do it. This is, this is how you take a rest. And then you lie down for like 30 minutes. See ya. Woohoo! We're not at Portage La Prairie. 23 kilometers to go, but we're at, guess what, Portage La Prairie Municipality. Oh, this is great. I am so tired. Okay. So here we are in Poplar Point. We've gone really far. Poplar Point is great because they have a perfect church with a wall that you can lean against. And it's but, in the shade. And it's in the shade. Yeah, that's right, David. The best way to rest, by the way, remember this, is to lie all the way down like this. When you sit, you get like half rest. Okay, that's great. Now, get a picture of the whole area, including David. And scan around. Now... 15 more clicks. Woohoo! Here we are. We're so close. We're like five clicks out, but we're taking a rest. Actually, the last 10 clicks I've been resting about every two, but sometimes not sitting down, sometimes just resting over the handlebars. We just came out onto Highway 1. Well, we're where the St. Francis Xavier Road meets Highway 1. There's my bike. I actually do get on that bike sometimes. I can say now, I think I'm going to make it. There's Mike. David thought we had already taken a picture, so he went ahead. And that is my most beautiful, beautiful sign. Green is a beautiful color, especially when it has those words on it. I'm riding. We did her, by the way, bullshit on 85 clicks, 89.5, but here we are. High five. High five, cameraman. Okay. Do you know what I think is like the greatest feeling ever, 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 ever? It's being so exhausted. Your body is so depleted that you think you cannot move another mile you just can't do it and when you're so exhausted the, the problem is it takes hours to get to that state and so it's not something a state that I get to very often but you're so exhausted and then you just lie down anywhere anywhere at all and you can feel it's like a battery being recharged the battery is empty and you can feel it filling back up it's a great feeling everybody should have that feeling at least once that's the feeling I had on this bike ride. It's not an easy state to get into, but it it's an amazing feeling for me anyway. I don't know. Maybe everybody wouldn't feel the same. And that's it. I hope that inspires you to get out of your comfort zone, for you to get out there and do something physically active that will boost your uh, energy. And uh, I'll see you next week. I love you lots. Bye.